So um, I guess a little, just a little context and backstory. So Facebook has not been my pro priority in terms of like growing my business and stuff like that. So obviously mm -hmm. it's pretty, pretty bleak, but um, um, a backstory about the business as a whole. Um, so I got started about five years ago and it was originally just a, a web design and SEO company. And as we started to grow a little bit, um, we started to kind of branch off to, you know, other services. Our, our clients would be asking, hey, do you do, you know, uh, PPC or do you do, you know, graphic design? You know, all these kind of like one-off other things. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. at the time I didn't, but of course, because I'm getting started, I'm new, like I, I want, you know, the business to grow. I'm like, yeah, sure. So I'm like trying to figure everything out. And, uh, um, but I think it really settled on my agency being a, just, just, a, you know, solely a SEO type of mm -hmm. company. Um, I don't know. I've been doing a ton of different research and I've realized that they say it's almost better to be an expert in one thing. Oh yeah. Um, instead of trying to be, you know, more of like a generalist. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and I, what I've been finding is nowadays it's it's so difficult to at least for me to get new people because every time i reach out to someone right they're all like hey man we get we you know we we get hit up 20 times a week by you know this kid and that kid and yeah. uh -huh. you know it's just a one it's just one thing after another and yep it's like they don't want to give you the time or day you know so yeah and my website's not great either. It's something I just threw together and Dude, I love it. it. I'm over so. here I'm over here with my jaw on the ground because I'm just like in awe. I think it's awesome. Okay. I think it's awesome. Yeah, dude. Really cool. I um, love it. So I guess really is, you know, I've been I think I watched every you know, every one of your videos on YouTube. Oh, and thanks, man. And you've really I mean, you kind of I like your mindset in terms of Hey, you know, instead of just jumping right into Facebook ads or whatever your kind of, you know, yeah. your upsell is, mm -hmm. you know, kind of take a step back and, you know, let's kind of build the, the foundation first, you know, mm -hmm. and they're spending mm -hmm. a little bit of money with you. So they, they start to trust you because yeah. I don't know about, I mean, SEO, I mean, almost you say the word now and business owners just kind of run away, <laughs> you know, right? because they've been scammed and they've been, you know, spammed yeah. it, you know, left and right. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And no one, and for me, because what I do, it, it, I mean, I totally, it gets great results. Like I know exactly, I know exactly what to do. Like I have my step-by-step -step process. Like it, it's all, it works, right? It, the problem is people don't trust you in this day and age to give you the $2,000 or whatever it is to, you know, yes, to get the job done properly. Mm -hmm. Um, so I've been trying to really experiment on kind of like that value ladder type of, you know, situation where it's like, Hey, you know, let's start with something small. Let, let me do it. Let me do it good. You know, let's, let's get you a little results so and show you kind of, you know, that I'm not a one, you know, another scam yes. artist. So, <clears throat> yes, <clears throat> you, I mean, you're, you're just taking all the words out of my mouth, man. And it's just crazy how, when I jumped into, into the whole agency thing in 2016, it's kind of, that's all I was being taught was 2000 a month, 2,500 a month. These yep. small business owners will give it to you. Not a problem. <laughs> yep. And, and that's, that's what I was being taught. And then as I was building and I was, as I was actually in the trenches, um, it was, it wasn't really like that. And I'm like, and, and first of all, it, I don't know if it wasn't like that because I wasn't necessarily pitching that. Right. right away I, I i was trying to pitch it but then i kind of wasn't my whole my whole drawback was the fact that my knowledge wasn't there just yet right i knew i knew the market needed it i knew i knew that that these services were needed which were which were social media <clears throat> services or or facebook advertising services i knew that was needed but what i was being taught as far as the price point i knew that my knowledge wasn't quite there yet Okay. But I knew I wanted to jump in the industry somehow, some way. And so it was kind of, it was kind of two different reasons. One reason was the fact that I knew people weren't going to give me that much money up front. And then I'll, and then the second, the second thing is that I kind of defaulted into providing 
lesser cost services because that's kind of where my knowledge was at. Okay. And then at the same time, I realized that literally 99.99% of the market were missing those basics. Right. So I'm like, shit, okay, so I can get you for a few hundred now on these basics. And as I'm looking at the market and diving deeper into more research, all of these bozos are missing it. Yep. So that's where I kind of found my niche. I'm like, okay, so I can maybe pitch this to get me in the door, get, get, their, get them to open up their wallet, and then build the relationship over the next you know, week, two weeks, three weeks, and then get them back on the phone to upsell because at that point, I have the relationship. Right. And so that's kind of what ended up happening happening for me in, in 2000, 2017, 2018. And then by 2019, I, I mastered, I mastered that. And then I have a, I have a video, a YouTube video, this one right here. It actually drops on the 22nd. Okay. Um, but this, this is where I'm closing out the year at 155 clients. Right. So and that's, that's insane. That's and like, I don't know. Is that, I, I kind of look at that. I'm like, okay, those are actual decent numbers, but I don't know what anyone else is doing. And, and yeah, and I'm, I'm thinking no one else is doing those numbers either. No. You know? Um, uh, because and <clears throat> what I really liked about, you know, going through your videos and hearing kind of your, you, you know, what you do. Um, yeah. I mean, People are like, oh, you know, you're one off selling $300 here and, you know, here and there to people, but it adds up and it's much easier, you know, of a sell. Like, you know, my lifestyle isn't that expensive and mm -hmm. it would only take, you know, you know, yes. $3,500, $4,000 a month of those small one off sales for me to be, be set. And yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's not like, you know, it's not like, well, I got, I got it. Now I got to sell, you know, $25,000 worth a month. You know, I'm not even, I'm not even at that point. So it's more of, it's more of a thing where, you know, I like the concept of using those smaller sales. Hey, you're building up your leads for, you know, future mm -hmm. upsells, yes, but man. you're also getting money in the door right away to take mm -hmm. care of, you know, bills and that, and that kind of stuff. Yes. Yes. And, and that's, that's, that's exactly, man, exactly what you're visualizing and explaining is exactly what I've been doing. So just on the upfront, all, all close. And, and, and that's why I, I show on that video that dropped on the 22nd, I literally show my real numbers through Stripe Yep. and 155 clients that came through where I got a credit card from in 2019. And there was 212 actual transactions. So I'm breaking down in the video, okay, 155 came in, but yep. 216 transactions actually went through. There's a difference there. Yep. And so I'm, I'm explaining that the 50 plus clients that gave me more money yep. were, my, were the ones that I actually upsold. So, so in the, from the beginning, I had 155 come in that gave me anywhere from 500 to $1,000. Wow. One time thing. No yeah. big deal. And that's, and, and when you do the math and when you do the math on just 155 at 500, I think it's like 77,000. Yep. Yep. Correct. So it's like, that's, that's, that's my upfront money. So that money literally takes care of my bills. Like that's my grocery money. That's my rent right. money. Like that's my wife, you know, like that. And, and so that, that's anywhere from 15 to 1500 to 2000 a month or 2000 a week, because that's, I, I, I'm showing my numbers and I'm saying, yep. okay, 155 divided by 12, I'm closing literally, I'm, I'm closing literally four clients a week, Yeah, you know, and that's, that's my average is, is anywhere from anywhere from three to four clients per week on that upfront $500 transaction. Well, and not only that, but you're constantly getting those wins where you never really, you know, if they don't, mm -hmm. if they don't buy one of your upsells, not a big deal. You know, it, for me jumping into the one, you know, $2,000 a month, you know, thing or whatever. Yeah. I get a lot of no's and it's like a month goes by mm -hmm. and it's like, I don't have a new client and yeah. now you're kicking yourself. And mm -hmm. it's just like, Dude, you know, it's yeah. just like, it's just a cycle that it's just, you know? Yeah, man. It, and it's, it's just, it's so crazy hearing you say this, Tim. Like, it's so crazy, bro. Like, it's so crazy. Like, it's so crazy hearing it. Yeah. It, because it, it, it's just solidifying what I've been thinking this whole entire time. Cause I haven't really spoken to any other agency owner about really this okay i speak to a bunch of beginners someone right. like you you're super advanced right. and i and i speak to a bunch of beginners people that are just starting out so when i'm giving them these tips they're like holy crap that okay cool i can do that yeah 
but someone like you that's actually super advanced and you're still experiencing that it yeah it, it, it's really mind-blowing well um, it exactly and i honestly it's only getting it's getting more difficult because it there's only so many ways you can separate yourself in terms of SEO yes. or Facebook ads or everyone's yes. doing the same things. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, we're all becoming a, you know, a pizza joint that we're all yes. opening up on the same block, you know? Yes, man. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yes. And so, and, and, and my whole, my whole, and here's another thing. Here's another thing that made, made my whole entire pitch and my whole approach very, very different. And, and I talk about this on my videos, which is the whole direct message and getting people as friends first. Yeah. So that that has been my approach, and that's why I told I told you that, or I mentioned that the that the personal page is so so important. Okay. Because these people need to know that you're a real person. Okay. So that's why this is so important. So um, should I should I make so I should make my profile more public because most of the time, like it's just you know you know. It's just the very basic things, I think. It's just the, the standard Facebook settings, you know. So yeah. the privacy, if you're not friends with them, you know, it doesn't show, show a whole lot. So I should really go in and probably, you know, tweak some of those privacy yes, settings man. where even if I'm not friends with them, they can still, they can see more information. Yes, man. Like okay. you, you want all this because, because as, as you mentioned also, your whole, your whole approach and, and, and strategy has been linked in. Yeah. But more people I'm willing to bet are on Facebook yeah. So, 100%. so this personal page is where it all happened for me, where I okay. just started requesting people here, even though in my niche, every, every single one of them, uh, one of them is on LinkedIn for sure. But for some reason, I don't know, man, this personal page, I found more success. I just, okay. I, I, I don't know what it was, but, um, and so that's why I knew that this personal page, this is where I was going to connect with everyone. Yep. And, and I had to make this page look legit. And, and dude, what you got going on right now, you do, you're a handsome looking guy. I could tell you freaking love your dogs. Yeah. I know. Dude, pro, post that bro. Like post okay. that, like don't turn into this business mogul and, 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 and pitch how awesome your business is. Don't okay. do that. Like okay. say that for the business page Okay. over here on the personal page. This is all about Tim and his dogs. Okay. Yeah. Just like, uh, you're just a, a normal guy. You're a normal guy, man. And right. it's that normality that makes people attracted to you. Okay. It's that, that's social media. And that's why in my opinion, LinkedIn is a little crazier because over there, everyone is looking their best. Everyone right. is a professional. Everyone is on their best behavior. Yep. Everyone over there is fake. Yeah. They're not, yeah, they're not totally showing, get that. right? Like they're not showing them real, their real selves. Like, and, and that's not social media and, and, and forget about the word social media. That's not, that's not personal. No. And, 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 and so social media happens to be personal. Right. You know, and, and, and when we look at dogs or we look like we look at a, at someone's family and we look at their kids and we look at what they're doing, it, it, it becomes more of a real person that we can really relate to. Right. And that's what I've done on my page, man. On my page, you don't see me pitching anything about marketing services at all. Right. And, and all of my 5,000 friends, they're all people in my niche. Yeah. I bet it's funny because, <laughs> you know, I, I had about... 600 like just friends you know growing up with and stuff like that on facebook and i've been going through and every day i've been deleting perfect, uh you know perfect. i don't know like 20 20 you know 25 or whatever yes man just, yep just because you know like you said you want your whole friends list to be taken up by potential people or potential mm -hmm. clients you know yes man and, and, and I don't think anyone really looked at it that way until I, until I, until I started doing it and I started talking about it on YouTube and I'm, and I started getting clients from it and I, and I'm like, man, this is, this is a completely different approach. And then, and then I started, I started getting these little wins that were paying for my daily bills. Right. And then, and then I would, and, and then my upsells, I, I talk about it in that video that's dropping on the 22nd. I talk about how out of the 155 clients that came through. 200 and and i think it was 200 and 214 214 transactions <clears throat> went through so <clears throat> those excuse me the difference in i think it was like 50 something let me do the math real quick so it was it was 214 minus 155 so it was a difference of 59 you got so about extra, yeah the five other, upsells no those are 59 upsells right but five a month roughly yeah Yes, yes, yes. And, and I'm explaining in the video how, how that happened. Yep. Okay. Some people, most people will call their clients back and try to upsell them verbally. 
Right. Hey, John, just wanted to follow up. I know we were doing some amazing job with you last month. Hey, man, just want to see how you're doing. I wanted to also mention, hey, we have a new package. Dude, that's old school telemarketing. That's, that's that old school phone call. Yeah. Where, 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 I mean, you probably have that type of experience. I have that experience. I've been in telemarketing forever. So, so that's kind of how we would traditionally do it. I mean, what other, what, what am I going to do? Send them an, I can send them an email. I can maybe go, go to their office and, and, and talk to them. I maybe I could take them to lunch and maybe, maybe, you know, try to try to win them over and, and get more business that way. But I'm explaining in my video how the 59, it came from my email autoresponder. Oh. It, didn't, it didn't come from me. Hey, Tim, just want to say what's up. I know we did business last month. Hey, man, let me tell you about my new package. No, dude, I was not making phone calls. I did not call these people to upsell them. It wow. all happened naturally through my autoresponder on how I have my emails set up. Okay. And so right. I have my email set up in a way where, okay, someone opts in. Like, for example, when I onboard a client, Yep. When I onboard a client, I take them to a, I, I, I send them this link. So I'll email them. I'll email them. I'll email them this URL. Okay. Because I need Facebook tracking their IP address. I need Facebook tracking them. Yep. Right. I used to do it where I would come in here and I would just opt them in. And I'm only opting them in to start the email autoresponder. That's the only reason why I have this landing page. Okay. And and this and this form, the name email. Yep. It's only, it's only to trigger the email autoresponder. But yeah. now what I do is I email it to them. So right when I get their credit card and, 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 and um, we're about to jump off the phone, I say, Hey John, what I'm going to do is I'm going to email you a link right now that I need you to just put your name and email to start step one. Once you, once you enter your basic information, it's going to trigger the email that's needed for me to onboard you. So make sure you check your email in the next few minutes. You'll see this URL come through here shortly. And then they click on it from their end. They enter their information. They start step one. They go to, let me show you. They go to the thank you page, which, which now Facebook, my pixel is tracking, tracking that thank you page, right? So it's tracking yeah. it as a purchase okay. because I used to do this myself, but then Facebook's only tracking my IP address. Right. So right. I, I need, I need it to be tracking them. So now I just send them the link. They opt in and they're fired up to do it because they just gave me a credit card. Absolutely. So it's like, dude, hell yeah, I'm going to go check my email. Yeah. Shit, I just gave you 500 bucks, <laughs> you know? So, so they're fired up to go check this. They fill it out and I get that pixel tracking. And then, and so my point is, is that that triggers the first email that goes out that allows me to onboard them. And what am I asking for in that first email? All their information for their social media, their login, because I want to log into all their platforms. I want to make sure everything is optimized. And in your case, whatever you're doing for SEO, that's that first welcome email. Okay. Okay. But what I have set up, and this is what I'm showing in the video on the 22nd, what I have set up are five more emails that actually four, four more emails that go out over the next 28 days. And it's those emails that are, that are, that are set up to get the upsell. Okay. It's those emails and, and, and one e out of the four emails that go out because one email goes out right away. That's the onboarding email that they're going to get in two seconds. In seven days, they're getting a welcome. They're getting a, they're getting another email just to say hello. Seven days after that, I'm doing a, I'm doing another upsell. Seven days after that, it's just hello. Seven days after that, which is 28 days later, is the email that now we're talking about getting back on the phone. So in that fourth email, I'm providing a link to my calendar and, and creating urgency and saying, hey, hey, John, I just want to make sure we get back on the phone. I know I mentioned back, you know, on our first call about how important it was to start running Facebook ads. I want to kind of just go over some basic strategies with you. Click the link below to schedule your best time. Can't wait to speak to you. Okay. And that's, that's an automated email that goes out 28 days later. So in a, in a 28 day, in a 28 day period, I'm touching that client. Well, including the conversation that we had, the one conversation that right. we had, I'm sending them, I'm, I'm touching them there on that first conversation. I'm touching them again on that welcome email. And then I have four more emails that go out. So it's a total of six times that I'm touching them in a 28 day period. But it's, but it's on that, it's on that last email 28 days later where I'm getting them to schedule an appointment and some will, some won't, but as right. I'm showing you the numbers, 59 of them did. Right. And wow. so out of the 59, not all of them turned into long-term monthly clients, but for sure out of the 59, every single one of them gave me anywhere from a thousand to 2,500. Right. And, and that all happened through my email autoresponder. 
and, and that's and you're not chasing them no hell no on right. the first conversation i'm saying hey john make sure you check your email so i'm already planting the seed yeah. and, and and i'm already getting them acclimated i'm already getting them used to i'm already getting them prepped to check my emails because they're going to check their email to get this onboarding one right and so and they paid you so they're going to check it and, and they paid me so so they're and 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 and, and on that first conversation, in your case, you could be talking about SEO. In my case, I'm planting the seed for future Facebook advertising. Right. Because at the end of the day, and I'm talking about this in, the, in, in that video, every client, we already know what they all want. They all want a lead. Right. They all want a customer. You're doing SEO. Why in the hell are they paying you for SEO? Because they want to be at the top of the freaking page right. to get the most customers, to get the most clients, to get the most business. That's what they all want. But see, I'm not pitching them that right now. I'm saying, hey, John, I already know what you want. Don't even worry. I, I, I know what you want. I know clients, customers, leads. I already know what you want. But let me kind of show you what your pages are missing. Right. And, and then that's my little win. That's my little win. And so in your case, whatever you, whatever you can dumb down on the SEO side, break it down into a smaller package and yep. say, John, I know you already want the top, but hey, let me, let, me, let me show you a few basics that you're missing right now. And maybe we can just start there. And then, and then we can work our way up. Right. And so that's kind of, that's been my whole approach, man. That's been my whole approach. And then, and then just making sure that, that my, my pixel is tracking everything, making sure that my email autoresponder is tracking everything. And then, and then making sure that, um, that, um, yeah, I mean that, that I deliver value and I'm delivering value via email to tell you the truth. It's not, it's not calling them. And then also what I do a lot because we're all on our, we're all on the personal page. I'm coming to their page. I'm liking everything. I'm commenting. Yeah. So it's like, dude, when they see you active like that in the newsfeed, your name stays top of mind. Exactly. I got clients, bro, that freaking come back to me. Like clients that I closed in 2016 that send me their friends. Right. Clients that come back to me from 2017. It's like, dude, it's, it's kind of weird. It's like, it's, it's weird. It's like, it's amazing weird. Well, you know, um, and, and you're, yeah, yeah you're ahead. constantly, you're constantly, you know, in their newsfeed or, you know, your name is, you know, always visible to them. Yes, you know, they never man. forget about you. Yes. <laughs> yes. And, and, it, and, and I actually, I knew that before I even started my agency. I remember like in 2013, 2014, I, I, was starting to get, I was starting to get familiar with the actual algorithm on Facebook where I knew that if I just come to the newsfeed and I start clicking like on everyone, and, and I don't even know them, like I don't right. even know them, but we're friends on Facebook, rather than, you know, not the ads, but I'm just looking at random, you know, normal friends. Yep. Like I just knew that if I started clicking like on everything, my name was gonna continue to fluctuate. Right. Like they were going to continue, people were going to just continue to see my name. And if I comment, if I just comment, I just knew that people were going to continue to see my name. And so I, I don't know how I knew that it, it be in the beginning. It wasn't that I'm some tech guy at, at all. Like it right. was just kind of obvious to me. And I just knew that, that whatever the hell, cause I was always trying to sell something, right. but, but <laughs> um, it wasn't necessarily my agency until, until 2016. But in, in 2013, 2014, I was always selling something random. And I, and I just knew that the, the power of, of this and the power of my name being, being, being known and right. then just seeing my name, even though they don't know me, but right, right when I click like, they're going to see my name, you know? So do you, you add them as a friend and like, how long do you wait for you to reach out to them? Or do you reach out to them immediately? Like, Hey, thanks uh, very, for, you know, very, very good question, man. What's your niche? Uh, so usually it's, it's just the home service. Uh, I guess there's two it's home services and I deal with a lot of lawyers as well. Amazing. Okay. So if you do lawyers, lawyers could be really, really good. And even though, even though they've all been, see, here's, here's my whole thing, man. Yeah. The reason why I'm fired up and I truly believe in this approach is because when you look at lawyers, dude, how many phone calls are they getting on marketing services per day? Right. Right. They've been burned out forever. Like right. these guys, everyone and their mother is going after lawyers. Yeah. But if I went over here and I started requesting every single one of them as a friend. Right. And we started there first. Okay. That's different. Right. That's different. Just that alone, man, is completely different than that person phone calling them. Right. Completely different. And so to answer your question, what like I'll come over here and I'll get I'll get I'll get Joshua or I, right. I'll get whoever. Let's say William. Right. You know, I, I come over here and I become friends with William. 
Right. And then, and then we're friends. And what I end up doing and what I've done and what I do is I'll request and I'll go on a blitz. Well, now I'm at 5,000. So now I'm capped out, but You're on my way out. to 5,000, when I was like at a thousand friends or 1200 friends, I would, I would just go on a blitz every day and I would request just like that. I would search and I would go under people and, and let's go back to that just because this is super important. This is exactly how I do it. So I'd come over here and I'd hit lawyers and then I'd hit people and I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even click on their, I don't, I don't click on their name. Okay. All I'm looking for is lawyer. I'm not looking right. for the assistant. I'm looking for the partner. Correct. I'm looking for the lawyer. So right. right here, add friend. Right. And then I'd come down, I'd look for another real person, add friend. I'm looking for a real profile real. picture. Yep. And, 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 that, and that's what I've done. And I would do that anywhere from, I don't know, maybe anywhere from, anywhere from 40 to 50 a day, which is not a lot. Um, 40 to 50 a day, I would do it this way. And then once, once Facebook starts to see, and, and they start to see it really fast, once they start to see that you're requesting nothing but the same type of person. They start you, showing you. Yeah, you can come yeah. over here to the friend request right here, and then you'll also see a drop down. See, I'm, 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 I'm already maxed out. So, but normally, <laughs> normally right here, it would, say, it would say new request, and then I would see, I would see a list like this yep. also right here. And then I would just add friend, add friend, add friend. I hover over to make sure that's the actual owner, add friend, add friend. And so to answer your question, I wouldn't hit them up right away because I'm, okay. so, I'm so consumed with, with requesting. Okay. And, I, and I was just on a roll to get to 5,000. Okay. And, and whenever, whenever I message, like, for example, I, I allocate four hours a day for messaging. Okay. And, so, and so in my four-hour period, like, let's just say 8 a.m. to noon. 8 a.m. to noon, I'm going on a blitz, unless I have appointments. And even if I have appointments, that's fine. I have this appointment with you right now. Once we're done, I'm back on the, on the messaging. And, right. and I go till noon. Okay. So it doesn't matter if I have five appointments from 8 to noon. It doesn't matter. I'm going to message around those appointments. And, and, and that's what I call my appointment and prospecting block, 8 a.m. Okay. to noon. And, okay. so, and so I would request a bunch of people. And, 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 and maybe tomorrow I'll message them. Maybe a week later I'll message them. Maybe a month later I'll message them right. because I'm so, I'm so, I'm just blitzing and I'm, I'm just bringing on all these people. It doesn't even matter when I message them. But once I do message them, I for sure know where we're at in the dialogue, like where we're at in the conversation because it's all now in Facebook Messenger. Right. So I have these, I'm telling you, Tim, like I, I this approach is going to blow your mind. You're going to look at this and be like, holy shit, is it really that simple? Enough. Because I have, I have a copy and paste, man. Like right. I'm not going into crazy dialogue. Like I'm over here telling my wife, you know, my wife thinks that I, I'm conversating with all these chicks. I'm like, dude, hell no. Like I have a <laughs> copy and paste formula right. where it's just like boom, 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 appointment tomorrow. Right. Boom, 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 copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, appointment tomorrow. Like I don't go into crazy conversation. I'm not asking, Hey, how's your, how's your marketing going? Hey, have you done it? No, dude. Like I already know they suck. Like right. I already know what they're missing. And, and, and I already know that everyone is trying to pitch them and, 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 and even, and even if they're pitching them through the direct message, whether it's LinkedIn or Facebook, I already know everyone's a rookie and they're all trying to spill the beans and they're all trying to explain everything in the damn message. Yeah. When I don't do any of that, like I just touch on a few points and, 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 and send you a copy and paste that I sent to 1500 other people. And, and, and then before you know it, I'm scheduling an appointment for tomorrow. Right. Because here's what happens because here's what happens, Tim. Here's how this all happens. As you start to request a ton of the same people, what they all end up doing Okay, this is, the, I'm giving you, and, and I'm actually recording this, and I'm going to put it on YouTube, and, 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 and the, whole, the whole thing about don't tell all your secrets, I'm actually going to tell some of my secrets. I don't right. give a shit. It, it, <laughs> I, know, I know that good karma will come back around. Right. So, so here's, here's what happens, man. When you start to, let me refresh my page. When you start to request a ton of the same people, and they're all business owners, Here's what the notifications start to look like. Other than Tim, let, right. me, let me refresh this one. Okay, so Leslie invited you. Danielle invited you. Kimberly, Stephanie, Michelle, Debbie, Carol, Susan, Patricia, Regina, Nick, wow. well, Debbie. What starts to happen is every single one of them sends an invite to like their business page. Yep. And that's where the conversation starts for me. So okay. my little cell... 
my little win throughout the week is because they sent me an invite. And when I go to their business page, 99.99999% of them <laughs> are all around 200 likes. Yep. And when I can show them my page that has, what did you have? A thousand likes? Yeah. When I can tough. show them that, I'm telling right. you where the little wins are coming from. When I can show them a page that has a thousand likes like yours, yeah. or I can, I can take them to my page and see them and, 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 and show them my page over here. And, and, and then I, I show them, Hey man, I know you sent me an invite Stacy to like your business page, but have you tried running a Facebook ad? You know, a Facebook like ad would take your 200 likes to 2000 in literally a few days. Yeah. Have you tried running that ad? She replies back and says, no, David, I never heard of it. I reply back saying, hey, rather than clicking invite, run a Facebook ad. Yep. Having thousands of likes on your page gives you social proof and gets tons of people to see what you're doing. Right. She replies back and says, hey, well, thanks for the idea. I never thought of that. And then I send them another copy and paste. And my copy and paste is, I've literally spoken to hundreds of lawyers and not one of them knows how to run this ad. I ran it on my page and took mine to a thousand likes. I ran it on my page and took my page to 10,000 likes. Right. The social proof alone when people see that is, 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 is mind blowing. I can show you how to run that ad so you don't spend more than you need to. She replies back and says, and says, what do you charge? All I'm asking for is a good review. Right. Let me know if you have a few minutes tomorrow and we'll schedule a quick call. Wow. Okay. She replies back and says, holy shit. Okay, great. Yeah, I can do that. What time works best tomorrow? And you're off and running. That's it, man. That's how I get her on the phone tomorrow. And then once I get her on the phone tomorrow, I'm saying, hey, here's what I'm going to do. I mastered these numbers in a way where I can run that, that ad in my sleep. If you try to run it, or if any of these marketing gurus that are calling you, if any of them try to run it, I guarantee you you're going to spend way more than you need to. Right. I have a proposal for you, John. I'm going to run this ad for you. You're going to pay for it, and you're going to give me a good review. And they're like, David, what do you mean? And so what I do, Tim, is I work my margin into what I'm telling them what the Facebook ad cost. So for example, for every, I'm telling them, for every $99 that I put towards that like ad, Stacy, I could take that number up. I could take that like count up by another thousand. Okay. And she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, David, I'm like, I'm like, Stacy, for every $100, so you're 200 likes. I can literally have that at 1200 at a $99 budget within the next four days. And she's all, what do you mean? So all I got to do is give you a great review. And, and then she'll say, well, David, what's your ultimate motive? Well, here's the, here's the, here's the deal, Stacy. I'm going to be very transparent. I'll be upfront. My ultimate motive is to be doing long-term business with you. I already know you need leads. I already know you want leads. I already know the reason why you need to be at the top of Google. I already know all that. But I'm telling you right now what this page is missing. You sent me an invite. You're doing that to all your friends. You have 200. Let me take it to 1200 before we ever do any SEO. We need to take that to 1200 before we ever start running Facebook ads. Right. And, and, and to tell you the truth, Stacey, Facebook ads or SEO, that's going to take more of a monthly commitment, more of a monthly budget, and not everyone is there just yet. But because you sent me an invite, I'm reaching out because I know I can help. You have 200 people, when they land there, they need to see 2,200. Right. And I'm telling you, man, that simple little ad has made me a ton of money this year and, and last year and in 2018. That's where my little win comes from. Once I run that ad and take their page up to 5,000 likes, that's what I'm doing. So what I'm telling her is I'm saying, hey, for every $100, I can go up another 1,000 likes. What I'm suggesting for you is take it up at least five, 6,000. Right. So that'd be a one-time 500, John. I can go run that ad for you, but you have to give me a good review. And then, and then let me just kind of tell you what to expect as far as a monthly budget on what you want to maybe prepare for in the future, whether it's SEO or Facebook ads, you kind of need to be around a couple thousand a month. And if you're not there yet, that's fine. At least I'm telling you that now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go knock this out for you. 
I'm going to go knock that simple ad out for you just so I can bring some life to your page because your page is dead. Like, look, if we go to lawyers, man, every single one of them, their pages are dead. They every are. Every single one of them. Every single one of them. Like, let's, let's see if we can find a, a lawyer's business page. Actually, I can go to pages. Let's just go to pages. I can't tell you the number of lawyers. I have like 50, 50 people liking it or yeah. 75 people. Right? Yeah. And see, some of them, look, so, this guy, some of them have a shitload. Right. But, but I'm looking for the one that may be 987. 987. Right. Look, John, you're at 987. You're clicking invite. I just got an invite from you. I'd love to take that number to 9,800. Right. And that'd be a $900 budget. They'll give you that 900 all day, man. You're not asking for a monthly commitment. You're not asking for a couple grand. You're asking for 900 to take that number to 9,800. You go close two to three deals of those a week and you're good. Right. So I don't know if I don't know if you're if you're okay saying this, but um, when when you run those like ads, so I oh, notice. Yeah. Do you run them internationally, or do you yes. just do, okay? That's yes. what I thought because it's too expensive. And when yes. I've done it, just oh, focusing yeah. on the United States. Oh yeah, here's the thing on 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 the like <clears throat> cost and and my margin. It's 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 crazy, man. It's crazy. For every 1,000 likes, I'm telling them it's a $100 budget. Right. I'm telling them all they're going to do is owe me a good review. My cost on that is about 10 bucks. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say it's probably 10 or 15 bucks maybe. Yeah. Yeah. 10 or 15 bucks. 10 or 12 bucks. <laughs> right. And so what I'm getting them on though is 500, 600, 700. Yep. Like let's take it up a few thousand. Yep. You know, let me knock that out first. And then what I also tell them is I say, hey, John, here's what I also want to do for you. On your personal page, you have nothing listed. And even on yours, Tim, I yep. come to your personal page, there is nothing listed. And right. I get it. You have your business page. I get it. But a lot of your contacts and a lot of your network, a lot of the networking is going to happen here. So when people right. land here, they need to know you're in business. They need to know where else they can find you other than Facebook. Right. And say you're on LinkedIn all day. Okay. Well, why isn't that link on your page? Correct. You know what I mean? And so right. when, when, and, and then, and then what they'll say too, is they'll say, well, yeah, I have them all set up. I have a Twitter. I have an Instagram. Okay. I'm willing to bet John that every single one of them is not identical like this. Did your, are, are they matching? They're like, no, <laughs> you know? And so right. this right here, this is basic social media branding and, and this is value to them because when they can look at your page and see this shit, they're like, right. holy crap, that does make, make it stand out more. And I say, John, what I'm also going to do for you, but you have to give me a good review. And I always stress that, right? Yep. Because, they, because I make it sound like they're, they're, they're paying for the ad and, and that whole 99 is going to the budget when it's really not, not the full amount, you know? Right. So I say, hey, man, just for extra value, I'm going to also do step one. I'm going to do step one. I'm going to send you an email of what I need. I need to log into every account. I need to go in there and optimize it and, and customize the name. And once I match everything to match your lawyer company name, I'm going to, I'm going to list them all here on your, on your personal page. Then I'm going to come over here to your business page and I'm going to list everything over here because right now, John, your business page, when people click about, there ain't nothing there. Right. We're now in a social media world, John. People need to know that you exist on social media. Media, right. And when we show them your links and when we show everything matching, it allows you to stand out. That's step one. And then what I'm going to do, John, you're at 980 on the likes. You're sending invite. That's what everyone is doing. Every friend I got, every lawyer, every single one of them is clicking invite. Every single one of you guys got a couple hundred. I want you to stand out, John. So I got to take that number to a couple thousand. I understand you want the top of Google. I understand you want lead capture. I get it. Right. But we're not there yet, buddy. We're not there yet. So listing these links are going to allow your brand to stand out even more and taking this like count up from your 300 to 3000 is going to make you stand out even more. Right. That's my step one and step two. I'd literally have them give me anywhere from 500 to a thousand dollars to do that. It takes me 30 minutes to link all their links. It takes me three seconds to set that ad. Yeah, that's my are, little win. Right. The that's ads are my, super easy. That's, that's dumb easy, man. That, that's yeah. something I could teach my 12-year-old to do. Yeah. You, 
I mean, I've, I, you know, I've done like ads before and I just post a, a nice picture of a mountain or something and, mm -hmm. and you get just like, you know, yeah. likes left and right. So let me, um, um, so it, 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 I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you my, my whole back end, like, but my whole like back end of it all. But, um, my whole thing is, is, is you can look at this with SEO as well, man. What, whether, totally. whether you're, you're knocking out this, because here's the thing. The reason why Facebook has, has been this powerful is because it's on Facebook where they're sending all the invites. Right. They, they, they want, everyone wants, wants everyone to like their business page. Right. And, and that's the thing. It doesn't matter what business they're in. It doesn't matter. Every, every business owner wants to, every business owner gets high on that like number growing. Yep. It's like, yeah. dude, they send an invite. They're at 157 likes and then they send an invite and then tomorrow maybe they're at 190 and they're fired up. Right. It's like, holy shit. No, bro. Like you still suck. Like, yeah. Once I show them my numbers, they're like, holy crap. I, I talk to people that are at 500, 600 likes and they've never run an ad, but they've been clicking invite for the last two years. Oh, right. And then I, and then I show them like, like, and then I show them what an ad can do. I say, John, don't toot your horn that, that well, because even though you think you're at a high number, which is 660, let me show you what a Facebook ad would do. When I run a Facebook ad, we're going to be growing by 660 a day, bro. And they're like, they're like, holy shit, really? I'm like, yes, man. And so that's why I'm telling you right now, all of your competitors, every lawyer, they're all at a few hundred. I just want to take yours to a few thousand. Now you don't need 20,000. You don't need 50,000 likes. In fact, that's not even where leads are coming from. The no. reason why I want to take you up a few thousand is for the social proof. And, and so when people land here, they see a big number. And I tell them, I say, hey, John, you don't know me from Adam. You don't know if I'm just filling your mind with a bunch of bullshit over here or really telling you the truth. You don't know if I've been in marketing for 20 years or the past two months. But when right. you look at that number, John, what does that tell you? It tells you that I've been doing this. It, it, it makes you assume. It makes you assume that I know what I'm doing. It, exactly. It makes it look like that uh, all these people are, you know, have, have done business with you almost. You right. Know? It, it makes me, it makes it look like I'm an authority. It right. makes it look like, like, like I've been doing this forever. Yeah. When it's like, dude, to tell you the truth, the 10,000 likes literally, literally cost me about a hundred bucks. And I got there in about eight days. Yeah. It's mind blowing. And so, and so I have clients, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding, Tim. I have clients that will stroke me a check for a thousand dollars to take them up 10,000. Right. You go close a couple of those a week just to get your, just to get your foot in the door. You knock out step one, list all their links. Once they see all their links listed, they're freaking dude. They're, they're so freaking pumped. It's not even funny. Right. Because they're like, they're looking at their company name. Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and then I go get the dot com if they're not matching the dot com because I always tell them I say, hey man, you may have your own website now, that's fine, but what are we going to brand on social media? Are we going to brand that same website, or are we going to match a different name? Because I want those social media platforms to match the dot com. Right. So 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 once so once I set that up for them, man, and I'll go get the dot com, and I'll just come over here to, and I'll go do a whole you know incognito, and I'll come to I'll come to Google and I'll type in cheap domains, and I'll just get that ninety nine cent. I'll I'll go do this for them, right? And I'll go I'll go get them the dot com for a buck, just so I can match it with all the social media platforms that I set up for them, and then once I list it. They're fired up, man. And then once I take their light count to 7,000 when they were at 700 and it's taken them three years to click invite to get to 700, they're fired up. And I'm right. their best friend at that point. Yeah. And I say, John, just make sure you check your emails over the next couple of weeks because I got some value coming your way, man. I'm going to educate you on what marketing and what we're doing in, in the lawyer space. So you're going to want to check your emails. And so I get them used to checking their emails and it's on and, and two out of the four emails. So for example, one of the emails, the first email, the first upsell email that's going out is an email where I'm getting them to increase their likes. I'm saying, hey, John, it, and this is 14 days later. Okay. And sent, the email is, is triggered to go out. 
And the email says something like, hey, John, just wanted to say hello and follow up, see how everything is going. I hope business is booming. I know you're super busy. Hey, I'm going to be setting some more like ads tonight for a few other clients. I just wanted to see if you wanted to go up a few more thousand. We had a great run the first time around. Um, we, got a, we got several thousand people to like the page, but let me know if you want to go a little higher and I can, and I can turn that ad back on tonight. Dude, they reply back and they're like, yeah, sure, David, let's go up another 3,000. And then I go charge their card for another 300. Right. More money. That's the first upsell. <laughs> right. And that's 14 days after we spoke. 14 days later, which makes it 28 days later, now I'm sending them another email. And that email is saying, hey, John, just wanted to say you know, hello and thank you so much. We're now at 13,000 likes. All your links are listed. Everything looks amazing. Hey, I want to now go on to the next step. And your next step would be SEO packages or Facebook ads. In right. my case, it's Facebook ads. Yeah. And that's what they were. Everyone is on social media to look for a lead. We were, we were, they only took my phone call probably in the beginning because they, they want to know how to get leads, but we weren't there yet. Right. I started small with them and I'm not there yet until 28 days later with them. And so that email again is designed to now let's talk about that. Now let's talk about, about local lead capture because the like ad went to everyone. Now I want to talk about local. Now I want to talk about running ads to your local area or SEO in your local area. Now we're going to talk about that. So click the link below. Let's schedule a call. I cannot wait to speak to you. And then that's when they just schedule the call, man. And I wake up to appointments and those are appointments that are ready for the next step where I'm taking them for a couple grand a month. Right. And they, and they already know that or they have an they idea. Know oh, yeah. hell yeah. They already know so, that. Right. I planted that seed on our first conversation. Exactly. So it's, it's a pretty easy sell because they're on the call for that reason, you know, for a reason. And, oh, bro, and you're that, not I'm telling you, man, I, I, my, my video that comes out on the 22nd, I'm showing an email that came from a client that was ready that they just simply, they replied to that email, you know, cause in that email, there's a link for my calendar. Sometimes right. they'll click the link to schedule an appointment. Sometimes they'll just reply to the email. Yep. And so I'm showing in my video real time, a client that actually replied, yeah, David, I'm ready. Let me know when's a good time. I'm available tomorrow from 11 to 12. It's like, dude, she already knows what's going on. She already right. knows we're, we're now about to upsell. She already knows. Yep. She's ready. She's fired up. Her links are listed. Her brand looks amazing. Her Facebook page, no longer 200 likes. She's now at 1200. She's fired up. Well, and she actually visually sees the work that you did mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, knows that, mm -hmm. you know, she can visually see that, Hey, he knows what he's doing. Yes, you know? man. Yes. Yes. And, and that's why, that's why the personal page and, and the business page is so important because those are the services that I'm providing them. Those right. are the services. Like, like those, those are the services. I tell them, I say, John, I need your page to look like this. Yep. This is what consumers need to see. When I come to your page, man, I need to know you're a real person. Yep. You know, so, so that's kind of, that's kind of what I've done, man. That's what I, what I've done to, to, to now. And, and also I talk about in my video, how my whole business model is not, is not about getting a, a ton of monthly clients. You, that, that might be your model, Tim, but, but it's not mine. Like, I don't, I don't want, you know, 50 monthly clients paying me 2000 a month. I don't want that. That's not my model. Um, so, so, but I want a few, I want a few and I'll right. always maintain, you know, three to five clients paying me 2000 to 2,500. I'll always maintain those clients. Sometimes a few would drop off cause they, not, they, because my whole thing is not only do I do it for them, but I also teach them. Right. I, I teach them. I'm telling, I'm talking about all that in that video. I'm, I, 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 that's where my passion is at. That's why I'm fired up on Kartra because of the membership course. I'm fired up on digital publishing to sell my information, to sell my knowledge. I'm fired up about teaching people. So in my niche, I'm also teaching them how to do it themselves. Now, now not everyone's going to want that because everyone's busy. Lawyers, they're freaking busy. They're not going to sit around and watch your damn video. Correct. You know, so, so you can't teach that to everyone, but, but, but the small, the small amount of people that actually do want to learn it themselves, that that's where my whole digital course is headed. Like I want to be selling courses. I want to be teaching people how to do this shit. Cause I can only talk to so many people per day. Right. Like, right. Like before I'm physically drained. Exactly. Know? Um, and, and so I, my whole thing is I'm not taking on a ton of monthly clients. Um, so I'll, I'll always try to maintain three to five monthly paying, high paying clients per month. And then, and then just get my little wins throughout the week and then, and then sell my courses. And then now I'm building my YouTube channel. I got a little income coming in from that now. And, and my, my affiliate, my Kartra affiliate, getting everybody on landing pages. Now that affiliate commission, that monthly commission is starting to grow. So I'm just building out these, these, these other income streams around the three to five monthly clients that I, that I maintain.
Um, well, and that's how I, I got him. Say it too. I mean, I was even thinking about, you know, not, not become a YouTuber per se, but, you know, just start throwing up videos, you know, sharing my knowledge and expertise. Bro, are you and, kidding me? You need to. Right. That, that's the number one. Anyone that I'm talking to, man, when I got that first YouTube check, which was in November, wasn't a whole lot of money, but shit, it was a little win. 300 bucks, but it's taken me a damn near a year and a half to even get there. But I look at it now where I'm like, dude, it was all worth it because all those videos I would have put somewhere. Like right. I would have put on Facebook, I would have put on LinkedIn, I would have put them on, on Instagram. I would have put them somewhere. Thank God I just put them on YouTube because now I can finally monetize it. Right. So it was worth it. It was worth the grind because I was talking about this shit anyways. I was talking, like you're talking about all, you have all this knowledge in your head. You're talking about it anyways. Exactly. Why not put it on video? Why not put it on YouTube? And right. why not have the ability eventually to monetize that? Right. Because once those little checks coming in, like today, today I'm getting another YouTube check, which will be my second YouTube check. And it's a little higher. It's like 350 last week or last month, excuse me, in November, it was 291. Today, it's like 350. That deposit should be coming today on the 20th. But it's like they're little wins. And that, that for, for what I'm already talking about, for what I'm already passionate about, exactly, I'm able to put on YouTube and they're going to pay me for it. Like, dude, why not? Like, why not? Right. Like that little money, dude, will pay for your, it'll offset a few of your expenses. Right. You know, and it might well, take you a year to get there, but it's, well, yeah. telling you, man, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. When well, you're talking about it anyway, like you said, and okay. you're, and you're talking about the stuff mm -hmm. anyway. So mm -hmm. you might as well, if you can get it on a platform that, you know, you are, you know, it, it's, it's always there, you know, yes, and man. Not only that, but I've talked with a bunch of different agency owners and they actually get clients from their YouTube channel. Yes, bro. Yes. That, so, that's what I'm experiencing now, Tim. That's exactly. I Shout out to my buddy, Robert, because if I do put this on YouTube, which I, I would love to, Robert most likely will see it. Shout out to Robert out there in Norman, Oklahoma. He is literally a two thousand dollar a month. Any in January, we're we're going to be going up to three thousand. Shout out to Robert. We're going to be going up to three thousand a month on on his entire campaign. He came from YouTube. He found me on YouTube. Shout out to my buddy Kelly out here in California, building a property management company. He's a thousand dollar client. He came from YouTube. Wow. And and then and then I have I have a few others that 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 were smaller wins, five hundred but it's, it's still a win. They came from YouTube. And I'm like, dude, I told my wife this. I'm like, I'm over here trying to build a business from Facebook, but because of my YouTube videos that are going up, people are finding me and these people are paying me even more. Right. It's, it's mind blowing. You know? So with your knowledge, man, shit, website design, SEO, are you kidding me? You need to be sharing that information. I don't know nothing about that. Like I would subscribe to your channel in a heartbeat. Right. And, and, and it's all about your personality, Tim. I don't give a shit how you look. I don't care. I don't care about any of that. Like, don't worry about any of that. You cannot be camera shy at all. You're going to find your audience. We all have our own audience. And that, that a lot of people, I speak to literally thousands of people in a given month, man. I, I, not, well, not in a month. Let's just say in a year. I've spoken to thousands of people this year, all on the same topic of social media marketing and video advertising. And I'm telling you, man, 99% are camera shy. Right. If you could not be that person, if you could be that 1% that just says, Hey man, my name is Tim. I just want to freaking introduce myself. I'm fired up. Here's what I've been doing. Dude, you're going to find your little tribe. You're right. going to find your audience and, 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 and you're going to be able to monetize it in the future. So it has nothing to do with, with, with your background or how you look or anything like that, man. You got to just put yourself out and, and, and build a YouTube channel, build a YouTube channel for sure, man. For sure. And 2020 should be YouTube channel for you. Right. For sure. Yeah, I keep hearing more and more. It's like, it's almost, you know, now it's just content really is the only thing to set yourself apart, you know? Bro, it's, 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 it's your knowledge. It's not the fact that you got to go out there and think of a bunch of random shit. No, right. it's, it's what you already know. Correct. Like, like stay on topic, stay on topic of what you're fired up about, which is, which I'm assuming it's SEO and, and, and web design. Right. If that's your topic, man, you need to take it to the next level and just start talking about it. Little things like I'm telling you the most basic stuff that you think is basic. I'm telling you will bring the most value to so many people someone. Yeah. due to, to someone like me. I don't know nothing about SEO. Right. So if you just dumbed it down and started from a, cause your knowledge, you're already at Z, you know, right. you know, the whole damn alphabet. 
But if you dumbed it down and started a YouTube channel and started from the letter A and just started teaching these little random A, B, C, D, like you started teaching these little steps and you turned it into 10 to 15 minute tutorials, that's your YouTube channel. That's all mine is. Mine is, is on, screen, on screen share. I'm not yeah. really a vlogger. No. I'm not really walking around with my cell phone at the mall. You know what I mean? Like I'm literally just tutorial screen share talking about something and talking about basic stuff, man. And look at all my basic stuff, Tim, has, has led me to you. Right, exactly. Look at that, dude. Someone as advanced as you is on the phone with someone right now that is so basic, that's been teaching the basics. Right. That's crazy, actually, to think about it. Right? Like, right. it's crazy, dude. You know more about this shit than I do, bro. Like, I don't know nothing about website design and SEO and Google and all that crap. Like, I don't know about that stuff. I'm, like, over here teaching the basics, and, and, I, and I was able to build a little tribe and a little audience uh, of people. And, 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 and that's what I'm saying. Your personality, the way you look, all that right there is going gonna, is gonna to attract your exact prospect and your exact client and your exact audience. Right. You have a completely different audience than I do. I have a completely different audience that you do. We all, there's enough for everyone. Right. There's enough for everyone. And although you may think, hey, there's a million people on YouTube talking about SEO. Okay. And they don't have your personality. Correct. They don't look like you. Right. You know what I mean? So, so us as individuals have an opportunity to build our own audience. And, and, and it's amazing, man. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. And I just look at my little YouTube channel. I'm like, dude, next month my check will be at four or five hundred. In February, it'll probably be at six, seven hundred. And I'm like, dude, I'm such a little YouTuber. I'm not even big at all. But it's like, dude, an extra seven hundred a month. Right. Like, dude, that would change most people's lives. Right. It would change my life. Well, totally. Right. On top of everything else I got going, that's why I tell my wife, I'm like, no, because, you know, we're, we have a little baby and we're expecting another one. I'm like, do you understand that this little YouTube check, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be able to keep you at home. Right. Like, it's like, seriously, like most people have to go to work to go make a thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so if you could take your knowledge, man, and just put it on that, on that YouTube platform, I'm telling you, you're going to do very well, man, especially with what your topic is. You're going to do very, very well. well very, I, very well. And I think it's something important because every, every, it's important for every business, but you know, just the power of it, especially for like, you know, lawyers and, and, and people like that. I mean, mm -hmm. that's why I gravitated towards SEO is because look, it, it's so hard to advertise for lawyers on Facebook. You know, if someone gets arrested, they're not searching on Facebook to find the next lawyer or, you know, or, you know, if they need, you know, they're getting a divorce or something, they're not going on Facebook to, you know, to find an ad from a lawyer, you know? See, okay. So here's the thing. I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn your perspective a little bit. Okay. Social media marketing and Facebook advertising specifically, Facebook advertising, Instagram advertising, and then, and then you got and then you got and then you got YouTube advertising, right. video advertising. But let's just say let's just say Facebook. Let's say Facebook, Instagram, the same thing pretty much. When it comes to face, when it comes to advertising, it literally just comes down to brand recognition. It comes down to the fact that I've been seeing this lawyer in my news feed. Correct. He lives three miles away from me. His office is down the street. Mm -hmm. That recognition and that branding effect is where the, is where the person wins. Okay. Because, because when you keep seeing someone in your newsfeed and you're like, holy shit, this guy, okay, I keep seeing him. And that, that's the power of commercials. Like when it comes to a commercial on TV, a lawyer is running a commercial on TV to a bunch of people and they're just spraying it against the wall. They're throwing spaghetti against the wall to see what sticks. On a, on a commercial, there's no targeting. You're not targeting a, a, a real demographic. Like my 12-year-old is probably watching TV and seeing a, a commercial come on from a lawyer. Unless he's watching maybe cartoons or something, then he, he may not see that lawyer commercial. But if he's watching like the news or if he's watching some random TV show and some lawyer commercial comes on, that's, that's advertising for you. That's right. what these bozos have been doing for decades is, is putting a billboard on the freeway where millions of random people are seeing it. 10 year olds, 15 year olds, no one that's, that even needs you right now, Mr. Lawyer is seeing your billboard. You're already doing that type of marketing. And so with Facebook, now we can really target it a little bit more and now just get maybe this age group, maybe 21 to 60. 
and just right. run a commercial, run a video, run a video to them every week so that entire city knows who you are. Yeah, and, so and whenever they do need you, believe me, you'll be the first top of mind. Right. Okay, because they've so been seeing your ad forever. Right. So I guess that's a good idea because all I've been doing is, you know, so I get them ranked, you know, top of Google, right? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then I still have the Facebook pixel installed and I just run retargeting ads to those people. However, I do like that, you know, the concept of a commercial, you know, just a general, you know, you're, you're again, kind of like how you are, you know, liking and commenting on all those people's posts. Well, it's the same concept. You're just trying to get the lawyer, you know, in front of people's minds. So when they do need them, you know, mm -hmm, they think mm -hmm. of him. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. And, 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 and at the same time, we also have conversions running at the same time. So, so not only am I running a video ad and, and getting your name out there and getting your whole town, because as we start to go, that's the next step. That's what I call step three. So on my 28 day later email, that's what I'm getting them back on the phone for. That's the 2000 a month. 2500 whatever the hell you want to price that that's that step is when we start running local lead capture ads okay right. so not only are we going to yeah the whole branding and them seeing you in the news feed all damn day not only is that going to benefit you for for the long term for sure but at the same time in the in the short run meaning today we're also setting it up for conversion so people are going to be opting in people and that that's my whole 2000 a month it's not only just running the Facebook ads, but it's also providing the landing page and setting up the email autoresponder. That's my package. Yeah. Facebook ads, landing page, email autoresponder. That's the perfect package. That's all any business owner needs. Other than SEO, it, when it comes to this Facebook ad thing, Facebook ad, landing page, email autoresponder. That's what I'm providing for you, Mr. Lawyer. That's how we're gonna capture leads. So, so not only am I going to just brand you and, and promote you and get the whole world to know who you are in your local area, I mean, but also leads are going to be coming in as well because that's what I'm running for. I'm running for lead capture. I got you ranked on Google. We're retargeting these people and we're setting it up for conversions. Right. So, so we're going to be capturing leads no matter what, like we're going to be capturing leads. And so, and so I, I tell the person, I say, there's no other way, like other than Google and, and someone searching that search traffic. And then over here, you got paid traffic, paid, right? Right. And so over here, over here, um, um, oh, damn, what was I going to say? I was, oh, I was on one right there. I was going to say something super important. Um, 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 oh, I, I just lost my train of thought. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I hate when that happens. You're on a roll. Uh, um, but, but, um, shit, I'll, I'll, I'll think of it again, but, but that whole Facebook ad is what I call step three. That landing page setup is what I call step four. And then I get them on Kartra so I can make that affiliate commission on them as well. Okay. And it's a simple landing page and then the simple email autoresponder. And so I'm setting up that email autoresponder. I'm setting up that email sequence. I'm setting up that landing page. Um, I'm running the Facebook ad and that's justifying the, the monthly package. And then in your case, sprinkling some SEO on it. Right. It's like, dude, like, that that it that yeah that it, oh 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 yeah oh here's here's what I was gonna say here's here's what I was gonna say if it's not this Mr. Lawyer if it's not running Facebook ads and targeting your local backyard how else are you doing it the magazine the newspaper the billboard the bus bench right how much is all that costing you right that's what these lawyers are used to spending man they're used to spending tens of thousands of dollars offline on traditional marketing. So for I, them to give you, for them to give you a couple thousand, for them to give you for sure three thousand, you can get a, you can get three thousand a month from a lawyer for sure. For right. them to give you three thousand a month to go brand the shit out of them through Facebook advertising, where you're targeting their local backyard, that's priceless. And and you got the little win. You set up all their links. You got the right. ten thousand likes. Now your foot's in the door. You got the relationship. They don't care to talk to anyone else. You're their guy. Right. So, and it's funny too, because even the Facebook profile, even if I do, or if I am, you know, focused on SEO, it's still extremely important because so yeah. I, I do a lot of uh, on-screen tracking actually. So through, through a, a program called uh, Crazy Egg and um, from Neil Patel. And what it does is when someone lands on the website, it starts recording their actions. 
And I can't tell you the number of times that people from the lawyer's website go up and they click on the Facebook profile icon mm -hmm. and it takes them to their Facebook page. And then they're, they're looking at their Facebook page, you know, because people like to check out multiple, you know, they want to check out different areas. They want to see your reviews on Google, but then they want to see your reviews on Facebook or yes, they want to man. see, you know, they, they're looking at your website, but they want to see what your Facebook profile looks like, or they might even look you up on LinkedIn or that for whatever reason, people like to see, you on multiple platforms and they want to check you out on, on, on multiple platforms. And, and Mr. Lawyer, I just think it looks a lot better when I can match every single one of them 100%. and get them listed. Yep. And it's a lot easier. It looks good. It looks professional. And it's a heck of a lot easier for people now to go. They can click on your Pinterest and click on your Twitter and it's super easy. And you have all your contact information, all the platforms you're on in one spot. Yes, man. The same name. You know, it looks like you know what you're doing. And see, Tim, that right there, bro, that right there justifies your smaller package. That yep. right there is the reason why you need the little win. The reason why you get the little win, because yep. you're able to explain this stuff to them and say, hey, man, I understand you want the top. You want the number one spot. But let me tell you why this, this and this is super important to get us there. And that's why I need to take care of this, this and this first. Yep. So let's start here and then we'll talk in a few weeks about getting you on something a little bit more consistently. Right. Or more of a monthly package or more, more, you know, more lead capture, you know, something like that. So that right there, you, you, you know, the importance of all that, you know, the importance of all those keywords being in the bio and freaking oh, yeah. reviews, you know, the importance of all that. And I'm telling you, none of them, none of them have that set up. None of them, every single one of them are missing all that. Yep. So they need all their platforms optimized, man. That's your little win is optimizing all these social media platforms for them, taking their like count up. That's your little win. And it's, it's super, and it's, it's super easy service for us to provide to them too. You know, oh, yeah. it's not like it's a, you know, super time intensive, super, you know, you know, you need three people to help you. I mean, it's, it's super easy yes, and man. it's just, it's it's what I you know it's what a lot of people should actually look for is mm -hmm. these these little wins to build them up because I'll tell you nowadays the the toughest sell in the game is uh, you know Mr. Lawyer I want to sell you you know I want to rank you number one on Google and it only costs you twenty five hundred a month they're like uh, who are you and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I've heard mm -hmm. this pitch twenty times this week <laughs> yes, you know man. it it's a tough tough sell yes. Yes. That's what, that's what separates my, this whole approach, man. Getting them as a friend on Facebook first, liking all their shit, commenting all the time you see yep. them on the newsfeed and, 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 and you're doing all that before you even send them a message. And I'm telling you, once you have thousands of people as friends, they're all going to start sending you an invite to like their page. And that's how I get in the door. That's okay. how it, it's all, it's, it's all. And because I have thousands of people, I get people to click invite every day, man. Every single day, someone's clicking an invite. And I'm telling yeah, you, it's on. <laughs> those messages, I, 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 I'm, only call, I'm only messaging you, messaging you, Michelle, because you sent me an invite. Right. I'm only exactly. trying to reach out because you, you, I mean, you, you sent me an invite. So I'd like to show you how we could take the 200 to 2,000 with a simple Facebook ad. Have you ran one before? And then they reply back, no, David, I had never even thought about that. Well, yeah, right. rather than click an invite, you know, run a simple Facebook ad, a Facebook ad will take those 200 to 2000 in a few days and really give your page the social proof that it needs to be that authority on social media in today's world. There's a million lawyers on Facebook. Your page needs to stand out. They reply back. Wow. Great advice, man. I really appreciate that. Yes, JC. In fact, I ran it on my page and took my page to 10,000 likes. In fact, I spoken to hundreds of lawyers and not one of them knows how to run this ad. I can show you how to run it. So you don't spend more than you need to. They reply back, oh, that'd be great. What does it cost? Well, hey, I'll tell you what. Let me know if you have a few minutes tomorrow and we'll schedule a quick call. All I ask for is a good review on my business page. And, and when you say it that way, Tim, yeah, exactly. when you say it that way, they're like, yeah. holy shit, I could do that. I'm free tomorrow at one. Okay, yeah. great. Send me your email and I'm going to add us to the calendar and email you the link for our call. I use Zoom so I can visually show you it all. 
No phone call needed. I don't need your phone number. I'm going to email you the link for Zoom so I can screen share. And when I get them on screen share, I visually show them step one and I show them I'll compare it to either my page or I'll compare it to a client's page. And when they look at another client in the same industry, they're like, holy shit, their page looks way better. They got all their links listed. They're at 7,000 likes. I got 700. Holy crap. I've been in business way longer than them, but right. their pages look way better. Way better. And I say, John, that's exactly social media. I don't, and here's the thing. Here's what I always tell them as well. And I say this in closing. I say, John, you've been in business for 37 years, but on social media, no one knows that. Right. No one knows. Exactly. Like, I don't know you, John, and neither do your, neither do your 3,700 friends you have on Facebook. That's another thing that I tell them. I say, John, those 3,700 people, those are not people that live in your local area, John. Those 3,700 people, those are not people who even know you. Right. If you're Mr. Poplar and you've been in your city for 57 years, I get it. But you have 3,700 friends on this Facebook page, and I'm willing to bet, because I know the numbers, I'm willing to bet, John, that 95% don't know you. You and I are friends on Facebook. I don't know you. And I'm willing to bet the 3,500 other people are just like me who don't know you either. So although you're super successful offline, I'm just telling you what it takes to be successful on social online. media yep. on, and online. Yep. We need to make these numbers reflect your success. And right now, I don't know if you just started. You got 500 likes. It looks like you're, you're, you barely started practicing. I don't know. Yeah. And, and once they understand it, then, it, then a, a light goes off, right? Right? Oh, it's hell like, Yeah. Hell yeah, man. And I'm telling you, man, I'll knock on wood. I knock on wood all the time, but it, 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 it's just mind blowing. My closing rate, and I, and I said, I, I've said this on my YouTube videos, my close rate, my close rate, Tim, is 90%, nine out of every 10. And it's been like that since 2016, pitching it this way. My close rate is 90%. I'm That's closing who, everyone that I get on the phone, man. Everyone I get on the phone, I am closing. Like, and, and, and that's how it is, man, because again, I'm starting small, we're getting the small win and I show them the pages, I compare it to other people's and they're like, holy shit, that makes sense. And all you need is a few hundred and, and a good review. Okay. I'm in. Do you take visa? Yeah, I'll take visa. Perfect. And that's I take their credit easy. card over the phone and I process it physically myself through my Stripe account. I know what, yeah. Cause you don't want to get off the call. No, no, I don't want to send them a link yep. to the to the, exactly. to the to the to the to the you know checkout page. No, because they'll you know forget about it or they they won't check out. No, yep. I take that credit card right now. Yep, and when key. I'm on Zoom, I do it this way. I'm not visually on camera. Right. That's another thing, because I don't want them judging me or you know anything like that. Like I want it to just be my voice that is closing them. Right. You know. So so I I and 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 so my email I have that all set up as well. I, I come over here to my Kartra calendar and I, I just simply schedule the call um, myself. So, I, so in, the, in, the, in the message, I'll say, okay, yeah, John, just let me know. Send me your email and best time tomorrow. I'll add us to the calendar and email you a confirmation. And Dumps. then they'll, they'll, they'll reply back, email, best time. I come over here. I schedule the call. And then through my Kartra calendar, I have an email that's already set to go out with the link for our Zoom call the next day. Yep. All and, automation and, set up. It, it's super, I mean, it's pretty much hand, I mean, hands off, as, you know, as much as it can be for you. And it's just, you basically wake up and it's like, all right, I have these calls. I have these calls uh, from people that, mm -hmm, you know, want to mm -hmm. go to the next step and mm -hmm. away you go. You mm -hmm. know, you're not chasing people. You're not, you know, outside yeah. of that. They're actually, I mean, because, because of the way you message on Facebook, you're not even chasing them on Facebook. No, no, man, exactly. That's another thing, man. I'm glad you said that because that's exactly true. I'm, I'm not, like I'm not. I'm not going into major dialogue. So the no. conversation to the Facebook Messenger or LinkedIn Messenger, whatever the hell you're messaging on, it doesn't go in, it's not, it's not you know, extensive. It's not like a long, I'm not telling them everything we're doing. It all started because you clicked invite. Exactly. And the whole topic of this message over the next three messages that I'm gonna copy and paste, it's all because of that. It's all about the page that you want me to like. It's all, it's all about that, man. You started right. the damn conversation, John. Exactly. Like, I'm not shit. I'm only messaging you because messaging you, you clicked invite. Like, you yep. sent me the invite. You started this <laughs> shit, not me. Exactly. So don't get mad at me. I'm just out. trying to help. Yep. You, you know? 
And, and, and again, we're friends on Facebook. So you're seeing my family. You're seeing, and that's why, man, post, whether it's your dogs or whatever, start posting the real Tim because that's right. what they're going to, that they're, they're going to know you're a real person. And that's super, super important. Okay. You know? Um, and that's why on my page, it's all about my family and shit that I really am doing because I'm not pitching my business. And that's what people see. And they're like, damn, this guy's a normal guy. He's a family guy. He's a husband. He's a father. He's freaking down to earth looking guy. Cool. Let me see what he's up to. And they take my call. They take my call. Right. And that's another thing, man. My show up rate, my show up rate is 99%. And that's, that's key. So, so not only am I closing nine out of every 10, but mm -hmm. nine out of every 10 show up to show the up. Right. So that's, I'm not chasing awesome. them on that either. I'm not saying no. they're not messaging me. Hey, I got to reschedule and blah, blah, blah. I'm not, I'm not, I don't play that chase game either. And right. when I go for the appointment, it's always the next day. Right. I'll say, Hey John, let me know your best time tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. You don't want to schedule a week out. No, not at all. Not yep. at all. Not at all. And if they do send me something like that, well, I'm not available till next week. I don't even open that email yet. Like, look, man, uh, look, perfect example. Look, I'll show you real shit. In my mes messenger, this one right here, Margo, yep. she wasn't going to be available until, okay. until, until like next week. I didn't even open it. This one right here, thank you for your insight like everybody else. I'm, I'm psycho. Or she, she, you know how you can see? I don't know if you, if you, if you really look at Facebook messages. Yeah. You can, you, can, you can see the majority of it before you open it when open it's on it. your cell phone. And you don't open it. Yep. Yeah, and I don't open it because I need that to be unopened because that's not an appointment that she was willing to take the next day. She's, no. she's available next week. So as I come back to my messages next week, then I'll reply. I'll say, hey, Regina, hope all is well. I got your last message. Hey, let me know if tomorrow works, and I'll add us to the calendar. Totally. So, so because if I open that now, I may have, I may forget about it, or I may have to micromanage it and, and, and go back to it again and again. I don't want to open it just yet. She said next week. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll see it because it's unopened. I'll see it, you know, next week because it's unopened. So that's kind of how I just track that. Um, but, but every single one of them, man, every single one of them, I'm going for the appointment the next day and, and, and I, and, and I get it, I get it. Um, because again, it's all because they started it. They initiated it. They want me to like their page. They get fired up by taking their 100 likes to 120. That, that fires them up. And so they take the call, man. They, they take the call because I'm 10xing the number. I'm saying, hey, man, let's take that 120 to 1,200. And they're, they're, of course, they, they're all they, for they it. They never heard that before. Right. Hell yeah, they're all for it. They never, and all, and all this guy's asking for is a good review. Okay, I'll take the call. Right? Because no one's pitching them that. And it's super simple and basic and they need yeah. it anyway. So that, that yeah, man. And 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 when you can sprinkle your knowledge and 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 the importance of all that for SEO, dude, that's gonna make you make you win even more. Like make you win every more. And if you're going after lawyers, for example, you shouldn't see anything less than a thousand dollars. Take them to ten thousand. So if they have six hundred likes, we're not taking you to six thousand. If you, if you have 700, I'm not taking you to 7,000. If you have 200 likes, I'm not taking you to 2,000. I want to take this page to 10,000 10, likes, John. Right. And so for every $100 that I put towards that like ad, I can go up another 1,000. I want to take you to 10. So that'll be a $1,000 budget. I'm going to also go knock out all the links. So everything is SEO and keyword freaking whatever the hell you call it. Everything is optimized. Optimized. Keyword out, yeah. And so, and so I'm going to knock that out, but John, you're going to give me a good review, man. You're going to give me a good review and, 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 and we're going to, we're going to touch base in a few weeks and we're going to talk about more lead capture campaigns that I know I can do for you. But right now let's just focus on this and, and let me, let me, let me do this first. And I'm telling you, man, a lawyer, thousand dollars, no problem. Two to three All of those right. a week. No problem. Absolutely. That's and, your front end money, man. Right. And no one's pitching it. No one's pitching no. it, bro. No one's pitching that. And, and, and yeah, no one's pitching that. No one's pitching that, man. No one's pitching and, that. And they need it. So, and, and they need, it. yes. Every business owner, man, every business owner. And that's why, man, it's like, shit. Uh, uh, yeah, man, I'm just fired up to be speaking with you, man. I'm, I'm fired up that this makes sense to you. Well, I, I do. I appreciate the time. I, I hate to cut it off here, no, but we're good. I do have another uh, meeting. So no worry. No worries, Tim. If, if you can give me a good review on this page over oh, here, totally. man. Come to my personal page and there's yep. my link right there. Cool. And I'm going to do the same for you as well, man. Awesome. Yes, bro. So stay I, in touch. I, 
Yeah, I will. I appreciate the time. Okay, man. Have a great Christmas. Thank you, you too. You All too. Right, bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.